this deep feeling of anonymity. And uh, I have a global mailing list of over 3,600 people, and, and people love it because they, they write and they pour out their deepest, darkest fears and secrets and questions. And occasionally they'll put, please don't publish this, but oftentimes they know that I'll just uh, answer them and put them in, answer them as beloved one and, and take out all the personal names. As this, it's the same ego stuff that we're all uh, freeing our mind from, but it's like, to the extent that you're identified with the ego, it seems personal. And it's like what, what Raj was sharing at the beginning about what's here stays here. That's, that's why in psychotherapy and, and a lot of uh, beautiful spiritual practices, they will have things of confidentiality. And certainly, it's, it's no different than uh, honoring a copyright. You know, Jesus said, you know, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar, and unto God's which is God's. So, if we have uh, gatherings or music or things that pour through us, and we want to share it freely, and we feel to do that, which we do a lot, we do. And if, some, if we have music that we share, if uh, we are using something that's come through from the Spirit, and they said, no copyright, please share this freely, we honor that. If somebody has a beautiful song that comes through, or an album, and they say, please honor the copyright, you know, and people say, can we make copies of it? And said, well, we put a link on the website, you can go and buy it from them. So it's very much that kind of live and let live uh, approach, where you're honoring everything and everyone, and then for yourself, whatever comes through for yourself, you can, you can honor that as well, without violating or infringing upon anything or anyone else. So, it's good to know too with these things, we would never want uh, the idea of, of a camera or filming to have anybody hold back uh, from sharing, expressing, or having an opinion uh, for that reason. And it's great with, with technology now, we can edit things out, just with a simple request or whatever. Good. Yeah, well we were talking at the break and um, Les was bringing up some ideas of, of things in terms of practicality in terms of really bring it down to the level of where the questions are, where you're at, the things that you're working with, working through, very important to keep it practical. And Les, you had a, a question that's kind of been articulating through you for a while in your own life and experience, and then we, if you want to share it, then we can use that as a springboard for everyone. Sure. Um, I was just saying, David, that in one way, um, I think I'll speak for most of us here because um, for most of us, he's sort of up here, living at, at such a level that at times what he's saying is almost, almost, almost not helpful because I can't quite climb up there. So it can be very helpful to come down to levels where I'm working and somebody else is working and so on. And and also, uh, for about four months this year, I was working on this particular topic. And then yesterday, Tina and I and our roommate Carmel were starting to go down that road. And I just felt like it would be a lovely question to ask on behalf of all of us, from David, for us. And the question is about, you know, when you're working not on that level, but you're working on this level, it's easy to, to think, well, how can I create my future to be different, you know, like, how can I manifest things in my life that's coming ahead of today? Is it all right for me to ask for things? For example, um, you know, a year ago I would have said uh, this burning wish that I could be a jumbo jet captain flying to destinations like London, New York, and places like that. Whereas at the moment I'm on a 767 and mainly flying domestic flights. So I had this, I was playing with this idea of, as the ego says, when you get that you'll be happy, you know? But that's where I was at, you know? Or Tina might have thoughts of, we'd like to leave the four story terrace, and we'd like to get this beautiful little house, and Balmain on a quarter block and we call it the white picket fence house and it would be just the way she'd like it. And then sometimes she she sort of 
gets lost in it, you know, where she goes, well, I'd really like that. Is it all right to ask? And if I ask, is there any chance that the universe will give it to me? What control do I have? Uh, or someone else, say, in the group here, might be a single man or a single woman who might be thinking, uh, I've been single for a long time and I'd really like to have a soulmate, best friend and lover. You know, I'd like to ask from the universe and make this wish. I want my soulmate, best friend and lover to materialise in my life in the next two months. So, I wonder, has everybody had those thoughts at times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all infinitely abundant. Thank you, Miss Jess's group. <laughs> 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 Isn't there a saying that says, "Ask and it is given"? Well, this is the this is the question, and this is the investigation that I'd like to launch for all of us. If it's all right with the group, is that okay? Yeah. A little bit of time on this. Um, so, shall I just give a little preamble on the way I've mucked around with it? Yeah. And had successes yeah. and failures. Yeah, that will, that will help give a context yes. for what we're exploring. Yeah. yeah. From the courses uh, coming from the courses premise. Um, you know, uh, how to be with it from a Course in Miracles kind of um, way of, of, of being with that sort of thing. Um, you know, do, 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 for instance, and, I, and I'll come back to you, Liz, because I don't want to spill no, no. But, but um, if, if, do you, would I just hand it totally over to God or to the Holy Spirit? something that I, you know, that I feel that I'd like to experience in my life, whatever that might be. Would the course, from the course's perspective, would that be, um, if God, if, if Holy Spirit or God wills that, is that how I now ask for something? Only if, if it's willed by, by yeah, so, so though that, I mean, that's the sort of thing is Les and, yeah. Apart from yeah. that, in fact, yeah. I said to David just on the break, I said, I would like to ask on behalf of the whole group, please come down to our level mm -hmm. for a while, you know, like hardest and years, but just try and come down here and imagine you're still an ordinary bloke like those you know, who wants to drive a Mercedes and fly the jumbo jet, you know. But if yeah. we're all done, I don't see why you're putting David up here and us down here. <laughs> I'm, not putting, I'm not putting you down, but I'm putting myself down. No, I'll, I'll but if we're all one, why aren't we on the same level with David? Well, I, I, I think exactly. it, I, well, I, I think in the investigation, that's where that's where it's going to. Because I said today, okay. well, let's start up here. I heard that said a couple of times last night. Why can't we be all like David? Well, I think I am. I'm just not as smart. Well, I think it's the difference I, I personally see for me, and I don't know if anybody else identifies with that, is I, I've been with David a lot and I've listened to his tapes for more hours than I can mention. Mm -hmm. And where I see a little bit of difference in, in this dream of a life, in this illusion of being a human being on planet Earth, is that. He demonstrates to me that it's possible to wear a joy hat all the time, yeah. where the light is on 100% of the time, 24 by 7. Mm -hmm. And he's so far, he's the only human being that I've personally met and spent time with who has convinced me he does that. And I'm nowhere near that yet. So in that, I do see myself different. Maybe he has I have the potential. Tools. I believe yeah, I have the potential. And I believe when I stop, uh, when, I, when I remove all the, um, what, what are those words, I remove the obstacles, then I am more immediately <coughs> in this space. So I, I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. But no point in me pretending that I'm working at that level. And in fact, that's been one of my greatest failures. And the antenna certainly brought it up for me and, and helped me bring the darkness to the light. I spent most of the last 20 years pretending to be more enlightened than I actually am. Mm. Yeah, I, I believe I do that as well. But, um, 